next recipe. This time, we're gonna cook this one. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna exchange. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be here. Okay, so for our next recipe, we're going to make the Indonesian um, Kali oh. fried rice. Okay, so how did I come up with this mm -hmm. recipe? So, my katakawan <laughs> is the reason why I came up with this recipe. I actually went to Bali, Indonesia, and I got obsessed with searching for the best nasi goreng, which is the Indonesian fried rice. Yep, it's the most famous Indonesian dish and it's got lots and lots of rice in there. Yeah, lots of rice. It, it, it's like this big and mm. I would finish it all to myself. Mm. It would have chicken, it would have shrimp and an each, egg. Each yeah. place has its own version. Right, so you have to try it at every, everywhere you go. Yeah, so I had it for lunch and dinner every single day during the trip. And I know I walked sometimes no, during mm. the trip but it wasn't enough to burn those calories. So I ended up coming home with a muffin top mm. <laughs> so I had a big chan because of all of all the rice that I ate so yeah. I decided to create a low carb version mm. of this recipe so instead of rice I'm actually going to use cauliflower yeah instead. so for all of you low carb fan low carb diet fans out there especially those who love to do the south beach diet it's 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 very effective for for many people because it just makes you lose weight very very fast and this is mm -hmm. something that you can make for the whole family and they won't even know that, that you've gone low carb. Yeah, okay. actually one of our readers from the Sexy Chef Cookbook posted mm -hmm. a photo of this dish that they made and their kids absolutely loved it. It's a great way to get your kids to eat cauliflower in their diet. Yeah, because if you tell them, oh, we have vegetables, cauliflower, they may not want to eat it. So just don't tell them about it. Okay, okay. so our ingredients. All right. So over here, I have, we have lots of friends mm -hmm. coming over. I know, oh, hello. Shoe fly, don't bother me. So I have about 12 pieces of shrimp. You mm -hmm. can use medium-sized shrimp that I've already peeled. Mm -hmm. And then one fourth cup of cilantro, half a cup of chopped carrots. We have three tablespoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon each of ginger and garlic. And I have half a tablespoon of coconut sugar. And we have one fourth cup of chopped onion. Mm -hmm. And about, I think this is about half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Mm -hmm. For that Asian flavor. Yes. And then I have two eggs that I've scrambled already. And then I have two and a half cups of chopped cauliflower that I've already boiled in advance. So mm -hmm. basically what I did was I got like florets, um, cauliflower mm -hmm. florets, and then I boiled them in water, drained them. Um, just boil it enough until it becomes nice and tender, mm -hmm. but not like not too mushy. soggy. Yeah. yeah, because you're gonna cook it twice. Eh? You're gonna yeah. um, saute it again, so you don't want it too mushy. And then after that, you just um, basically you just season the the cauliflower with a little bit of salt and mm -hmm. pepper. So the carb cutting technique here is using cauliflower instead of rice yes. in this dish. And exactly. you will you will see that in the, the Sexy Chef cooking show and in the Sexy Chef cookbook, um, there will be many calorie cutting, carb cutting techniques such as this one. Okay, so first, are we ready to cook? Yep. Okay, we're going to season the shrimp with a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Shrimp gets a bad reputation sometimes. You know, whenever people think shrimp or any of these seafoods, they think it's gonna be high in cholesterol, but actually it's not, that's not true. Shrimp is very, very low in saturated fat and it's full of omega-3 fatty acids, which lowers bad cholesterol and it's very low calorie as well. So it's a very good uh, lean protein source. Okay. You can include it in anything, salads, you know, and pretty much any, you know, any dish. I love shrimp pasta dishes as well. Yeah. And of course, mm -hmm. if you're allergic to shrimp, you could always just substitute it with chicken mm -hmm. or whatever meat that you want. You can even keep it vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, it's this dish is great yummy. vegetarian. Okay, so we're just waiting for this to heat up. Okay, and then we're gonna throw in the shrimp. Mm -hmm. All right. So again, if you have any questions for us, don't forget, you can tweet us at rappler.com and use the hashtag TheSexyChef. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, there we go. You just want to... I want to like cook the mm -hmm. shrimp first because um, I want to get the flavors of the shrimp into the pan. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, I want to be able to control the cooking time, mm -hmm. actually, of the shrimp. Right, because it's going to get tough and wrinkly, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't, so you just want to do it like... You, you cook in the beginning so you have the juices, right? I think we have another question, another mm -hmm. social oh, media okay. question. All right, so it says, uh, this, this is coming from Samantha Lim. Hi, the sexy chef. What's the best way to chop up the cauliflower so that I can get that yummy rice-like texture? That is a chef question. 
Okay, basically you just get, you have the cauliflower head, no? Uh -huh. And then, so you have that one head, actually, one large head is actually good already for this recipe. Okay. So you just want to get like a small knife or small paring knife and you just remove the florets mm -hmm. one by one. Okay. Okay, and then after you remove the florets, you boil it in mm. water ah, until, so you don't chop it first no you, oh, you okay yeah you slice it first into florets okay. and then you after that you boil it ah. okay you boil it for a few minutes until it's nice and tender mm -hmm. you're just gonna have to try it to see it's just fork tender the moment okay. that your fork you can easily insert the fork into the florets then you're good to go okay. just be careful not to overcook it too much that's right and then that's when you yeah so you remove it and then you let it cool for a bit mm -hmm. so you don't Get paso, you don't burn right. yourself, and then you just chop it to make it look like rice. So, you know, like this, yeah. you know, not too small, just mm -hmm. to make it look like rice mm -hmm. grains. Right. So, yeah. is our, our shrimp cooking? It's a little windy, yeah. so our, our fire is a little iffy right now. So, we're just gonna. Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. There you go. So, you know what? I mean, I love like cooking the shrimp beforehand because it really mm -hmm. gives a lot of flavor to the dish without adding those shrimp cubes. Right. You don't really have to use any of these things that may have contained MSG. Um, you know, those bouillon, whatever cube things that you put to flavor the food. Because in fact, if you, if you do this cooking technique that Barney is doing right now, that she's cooking the shrimp and then she'll put it aside for a little bit, you leave the juices the shrimp flavor on the pan as mm -hmm. you as you uh, cook in the rest of the, the ingredients. So you flavor the rest of the ingredients with the shrimp juices. There you go. So as you can see, the shrimp mm -hmm. is getting nice and um, orange. pink already. Orange, pink pinkish actually. Orange. Pinkish orange. Okay, actually, that's it. That's all you need. And yep. you can see already all the juices mm -hmm. in there. And then I'm going to transfer it into the pan. There you go. With all the nice juices. I'm going to save all the juices in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Nice. And then I'm going to just add just a little bit of mm -hmm. canola. Oh, by the way, I put canola oil in here. Right. Canola oil is a really good um, oil to use because it contains a lot of omega-3 fatty acids. Uh -huh. It's a heart healthy oil and it is in fact the, the oil most that we use um, the most in, in uh, the most of our uh, more of our Asian dishes in the Sexy Chef. So you're probably wondering, what's the Sexy Chef? What are these meals that I'm talking about? You can order, um, actually, this particular dish. You can order this. It depends from, what month, though. Oh, yeah. Dying Light. Yeah, we it have, changes monthly. We have a, uh, a 350 calorie uh, meal um, meals menu called Dine Light. And depending on the month, because we change, um, we change the, the menu monthly. So monthly, you have a different set of uh, meals. We do have a kind of like um, an originals or favorite, 10 favorite um, meals that we always have available. But the rest of the time, um, depending on the month, you can order this um, Indonesian kali yeah. rice from the uh -huh. Dine Light 350 calorie meals menu. Yeah. And that's just 190 pesos. Yep, super affordable. Or for a five day menu of lunch and dinner meals, it's only really 2,150 pesos. Okay, so. Okay, so while you were talking, mm -hmm. I already um, added one teaspoon of the garlic and the mm -hmm. ginger. Um, ginger is actually um, really good for you because it fights off infections. Mm -hmm. It actually it gives a lot of this nice spicy flavor to the dish. It's also and anti bloat. Also anti bloating. So perfect. So if you're feeling bloated, have some ginger tea and it actually flattens the tummy. So there. And then I also added half a cup of carrots, chopped carrots, which is super high in fiber, and it also helps prevent colon and breast cancer. Of course, aside from the obvious, of course, but for the eyesight. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then of course, <laughs> I'm gonna add the onions. So I'm just gonna saute this until everything is nice and tender. I added one fourth cup of chopped onions. So you're just gonna saute it until it's nice and translucent. I put in the carrots first because carrots take a longer time to cook. Right. Okay. And then that's when we can add the two and a half cups of cauliflower. What, yeah, cauliflower that I've boiled and chopped in advance. So look at it. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like a fried rice already. Yeah. Yeah. So and you, you know, you're going to be surprised at um, how. I mean, this is going to this this dish will have a lot of volume. You know, it, it, it provides because these vegetables provide a lot of bulk. 
So you're gonna feel like, wow, I'm gonna, I'm having this huge plate of a. Uh, fried rice, you know, mm -hmm. but actually it's just veggies. It's mm -hmm. just veggies and some shrimp, so it's very low in it's calorie. no guilt. Right. All, by the way, all of the recipes that we feature in our cooking show, again, it's the Sexy Chef show on the color channel of, Di of uh, Signal Digital TV. All of the recipes featured on the show as well as the Sexy Chef cookbook are below 400 calories. Yep. Including this one. Okay, so I added the cauliflower already, and now we're going to season it with three tablespoons of soy sauce. There we go. You can use just regular soy sauce, or if you want to get like the lower uh, sodium variety, you know, for people that are watching their sodium intake, um, you can also use. We have another question. Yay! Uh, this time it is from Anthony Montero. Uh, where can I buy herbs best products besides sugar leaf? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, actually, um, we know the owner. Her mm -hmm. name is Fanny. Um, yeah. Yes. Fanny G. Fanny yes. Ganzon. And the thing is, she's always in, you can find her in um, the Gatsby Market. She has yeah. a stall there every Sunday. Yeah, so you, you can, can get her products it. there. And you know what? I've seen it in, in some supermarkets. Yeah, Robinson Supermarket mm -hmm. normally carries it, but sometimes it's not there. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. they also have like a website. Mm -hmm. And then you can also visit their Facebook page as well. Um, where else can you find it? Echo Store. Yeah, at the Echo Store. Store. That's yeah. right. Yeah, she's she's available now, but, but she she it's just the, the products are so... Um, they sell out so fast because they're... They're the best. It's in demand. It's, yeah. it's in, super in demand. Even, to be honest with you guys, even, you know, the sexy chef, we're like, she's a big supplier of ours. But sometimes when I when we call her, she's like, I'm out of my noodles. Whoa. And we're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, because everyone wants it. Because imagine her Moringa, no or Moringa Malungai noodles are only 20 calories yeah. a serving. Mm -hmm. So And of course, she has this product mm -hmm. that it's like a Guinea mix. Yeah, But perfect. it doesn't have um, MSG. Right. And so it's, it's all perfect. natural. Okay, and then we're gonna add one teaspoon of patis mm -hmm. or fish sauce. Conti lang yan, yeah, because you don't have to bit. put so much. And then we're gonna add half a tablespoon of coconut sugar mm -hmm. to give it that. Because you know, with um, Indonesian cuisine, yeah, you know, they like to combine that salty and yeah, sweet right. flavor. There we go. And then now we're going to add the scrambled eggs that we've cooked in advance. So there. Look at it now. It so how really many eggs? looks like two. Uh, two, just two yeah, eggs. Yeah, two eggs okay. that I've scrambled. If you look at it, you really can't mm -hmm. tell that it's not um, rice that we used in mm -hmm. there. And then I'm going to throw in the shrimp. With all of the cooked. juices. There. Okay. So there we go. So this is like a complete mm -hmm. meal mm -hmm. on its own. Diba? Look at it. Yep. So filling, and this it is like so good, guys. Good for two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can like have half of this. And yeah, you're not and gonna it's still like, like it's still a weight. pretty substantial serving. There. So we're just gonna turn off the heat, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna add one fourth cup of chopped cilantro. Mm. Okay. That's what's gonna give it that kind of clean, um, the clean taste. Okay, a lot of uh, cuisines use cilantro in Vietnamese. Um, you see it a lot of like yeah Indonesian dishes and it really perks up the flavor mm -hmm. of the food kind it of it brightens it up it yeah. gives it that fresh um, mm -hmm. uh, flavor but if you don't have cilantro you could always use parsley mm -hmm. or just leave it out if you don't have it but I like cilantro because it's also also antibacterial yeah. so it helps fight infections like salmonella oh, it, great. it fights that um, it's also anti bloating so mm -hmm. if you have gas <laughs> feeling gassy, you know, you could always you um, have mm. some cilantro and it also helps prevent bad, bad breath. breath. Nice. Perfect. So you can eat this on a date, apparently, and you're it not going to make feel... you fart. It won't. <laughs> it's like you won't be gassy okay. and you'll have fresh and breath. And you have fresh breath. Wow, Imagine perfect. that. Okay. An all-around deodorizer. Yep, yep. So okay. we're going to plate so, that. Okay, I'll just okay. put this I'll away. It may look like I'm not doing anything here, guys, but I'm here for mor moral support. When I said assistant, it really means support. And um, yeah, but I believe it or not, I am cooking in the cooking show. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, I did a, some of the cooking on the Sexy Chef show uh, that, again, you can watch every Sunday at 8 p.m. on the Colors Channel of um, Signal Digital TV for those of you who are subscribed to Signal. 
So I'm just gonna clean this up yep. a bit for presentation. Mm -hmm. So yeah, look at this. Yep. And then you know what? If you're not ready to go mm -hmm. all cauliflower, yeah, you could always just do half and half. Yeah, you can do a, maybe a little bit of brown rice, right? Yeah. You yeah. Can, yeah. You can put in brown rice or even white rice because you already put the fiber mm -hmm. of the cauliflower in there. That's so right. you can do like two cups of like cauliflower, and then you can do half a cup of white rice. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you how you want to divide it. And it's it. still gonna be a low carb meal. Yep. Because a cup of rice can be can have as much as two hundred calories and already. Already, exactly. So So there you go. Wow. The Indonesian that. fried collie rice that's not gonna give you that muffin, muffin top. top. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, all righty. So let's recap. Okay. The ingredients. I hope I remember all the ingredients here. Okay, okay so I had about Two and a half cups of cauliflower. I had 12 um, pieces of shrimp that I mm -hmm. put in there. One fourth cup of cilantro. Um, three tablespoons of um, soy sauce. And I had about, what else? Mm -hmm. um, half a teaspoon of fish sauce. And um, half a tablespoon of coconut sugar. So as you can see, we, we actually didn't fry anything here. We don't use a lot of oil. Everything is like a stir-fry. Yeah. And we always use heart-healthy oils, like in this case, canola oil. So